Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code. This is called Average of Levels in Binary Tree. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. We're given the root of a binary tree and we want to return the average value of the nodes on each level in the form of an array. So example one, this is our binary tree. We have 3, 9, 20, 15, and 7. We want to find the average level by level. So our output is going to be 3, 14.5, and then 11. This first level is an average of 3. Second level, we have 9 and 20. So adding that together is 29. Dividing that by the number of nodes we have, which is two, is going to be 14.5. And then for this level over here, again, we only have two nodes and our sum is 22. Dividing that by two, we'll get 11. So our final output is going to be an array with three, 14.5 and 11. Example two, we have three, nine, 20, 15, and seven. This is basically the same thing we have in example one with just different orientation. So again, if we wanna find the average level by level, we're gonna have three, then 9 plus 20 divided by 2, which is 14.5, and then 15 plus 7 in that last third level, which is 22. And since we only have two nodes, our output is going to be 11. So we know we want to go level by level, and this is a tree. So this is sort of a dead giveaway that we want to use a breadth first search. We want to go level by level. So taking a closer look at example one, we have 3, 9, 20, 15, and 7. We want to start off with our very first level. Now, before doing that, we also want a output list that we want to return. So let's initialize that output is going to be empty. And we're going to start off with our first level of the root node. So currently we are going to have the root node. Now, while we still have nodes in our current array, we want to figure out the sum of our level and we want to start building our next level. So new level is going to be initialized to empty and our current sum is going to be zero. We just wanna loop through all the nodes we have in our level. So for r in current, if the r has a right child, we wanna add that to the new level and same with the left. So if r.right, we are going to append it to new level, r.right. And same thing for the left. So if r.left, it's going to be new level, dot append r.left. So right now we have our empty output. Current is going to hold our root node over here. And while current, that's true, it's not empty. We are going to initialize new level and current sum. Now we're going to be looping through for R and current. So the first root we come across is three and we check if R.right, that's true, it does have a right child. We're going to append it to new level. So new level is now going to get 20, the right child of R. And if R.left, that's also true, we append it to new level. So new level also has nine. Now that we have our new level, we also want to keep track of our own level sum. So we're going to add to current sum our own roots value. So current sum plus equals r dot val, which means right now we have the value of three at node three, and we're just going to add that to our current sum. Now, once we're done looping through all the nodes in our level, we want to figure out what our average is and we want to append it to output. So once we're done looping through, it's going to be output dot append our current sum divided by the number of nodes we have in our level, which is just going to be the length of current, right? We have one node in current so far, so it's going to be length of current. So right now our current sum was three, dividing that by the length of current, which is one, is going to be three. So to output, we are appending three. And now we just want to reassign what our current is. So current is now going to equal what we have in new level which means current is now going to hold what we had in that new level of 29. We're on this new level over here. So going back in this while loop, this is still true. It's not empty. We're going to initialize new level and current sum again. So new level is empty, current sum is zero. Now for R in current, we're looping through. So if R dot right, that's true. There is a right child. We're just appending R dot right to new level. So new level is going to get seven. And if R dot left, that's also true. We're going to append to new level R dot left. So we append 15. And we're also adding our own roots value to current sum. So we are adding 20 to current sum. Going back in this for loop, we are at our new R, which is nine. We make a check if R dot right, that's not true. There's nothing on the right. And there's also nothing in the left. So we're not going in the left child either. All we're doing is adding to current sum, our own value, which is 29. Now there are no more elements for us to be looping over. We're done through current. So we're just gonna append to output current sum, which is 29 divided by the length of current. So length of current, this level over here is two, 29 divided by two is 14.5. And we're just appending that to output. So output is getting 14.5. Now we are reassigning current to be new level and we're just repeating the same thing. So going in this while loop one last time, this is true. It's not empty. We're initializing new level and current sum. 
Now for R in current, we start off with seven. If R dot right, that's not true. There is no right child of seven. There's also no left child of seven. So we don't go in these ifs. We're just adding our value to current sum, which is seven. And going back in this loop, we're now at node 15 and 15 has no right or left. So we're just adding 15 to current sum, which puts current sum to 22. And now we don't go in this for loop anymore. So instead we're just going to append it to output current sum, which is 22 divided by the length of current. So how many nodes we had in this level, which was two. So 22 divided by two is 11. And now we finally reassign current to be new level, which is now going to be empty. So now we can't go in this while loop because this is no longer true. Current is empty. And so what we need to return is output over here. So we're just going to return output. Now let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. And quickly talk about space and time complexity for both space and time. Our complexity is going to be O of N if there are N nodes in our tree because we are going through every single node in the tree. So we just went ahead and solved average of levels in binary tree. If you have any questions with this whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I'll answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.